Hello everybody, welcome to Tokyo. This is Hamamatsucho Station here in Tokyo. You can see it's under under construction. That used to be what was called the World Trade Center. How you doing? And today, it's a mess. It really is. And uh, it's been like this for a couple of years, maybe a little bit longer. They've been working really hard to try to get the monorail station, which is the terminus or the start of it, more up to international standards, so to speak. It wasn't really the greatest place uh, to pick up a train. I mean, the other stations were a little bit better than that, but I wanted just to give you an overview of the, the situation here. So when you do come to Tokyo, even if you're coming from Haneda or leaving from here, you have a better idea. So when, when you have a flight to catch, you'll be on time. All right, let me just give you a rundown here. Uh, this is what the future station is gonna look like. It's gonna be really nice. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I do take the monorail quite a bit for domestic flights. So having a smooth transition onto the monorail is important. Right now it's not very smooth. It's kind of a, it keeps changing, which is a, an issue. The, the history of this building is quite interesting though. The space, they have a, a little a photo essay here. Uh, this is the World Trade Tower built in 1970. You can see it was uh, 162 meters high, if you guys remember that. Quite high, you get good views of, of uh, Tokyo Tower. Not a lot of high buildings in this area. Then they demolished it, uh, I guess it was a couple of years ago. And now this is what the future, it says mid-eye. The future building is going to look like this, probably higher than 160 meters. And there's the station. So I'm looking forward to the changes here. But right now, what we have is kind of a mess. All right, let me show you. Uh, you have to, this is a great point because you get a good look inside of it. So you have to, you have to make a right. And it's hard to see if you're coming out of, uh, of the Asakusa line, which is right there. Do you see? This is the exit of the subway right here. So if you're coming from the subway, the Daimon is the name of the station. It's a little bit confusing. But there's a tunnel, kind of like a little little teeny alley that will take you in there. Uh, I walked it for you so you don't have to. Check it out. Arthur Vandalay's in the house. It's not comfortable. And if you're walking on the wrong side of the road and somebody somebody will bump into you. So make sure you stay left side if you're walking. Just, just stay to your left. It's about, a, it seemed like 150, 200 meters long. It took took a, a while. The thing is, if you're running for a train, which you know I'm doing quite often, you know I'm running for a train quite often, then you, you're gonna get blocked by people. And that's not great. I found myself being blocked by people uh, and I just missed a monorail. Luckily, I had d departed early enough where it wasn't a, a, a problem. But there are some slow walkers, which is a little bit frustrating. But, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> it's like, get, I'm a fast walker. I get around pretty quickly. Now, if you're coming from the JR station, which is right here, uh, some good news is that it, it's really easy access to get into there. I'll be uploading a version of this, so if the signal's not good in the live stream, it'll look a lot better in the upload right after. And Hamamatsu, Hamam, Hamamatsu Cho Station is quite old. The history of it goes back to 1909. It says so on the sign of it, which uh, you know is, is rich in history. This is another reason why I, I think that they need, they really need to have uh, some renovations every now and then. It is one of the older stations here. But what makes it really scenic is, and special, is that you got a, a view of Tokyo. Oh, you can't see it from here. Okay, I'm gonna have to cross the street. But you have a view of Tokyo Tower. I'll take you over there. And I'll show you where the entrance is. This will give you a lot. Of, uh, the taxis usually will drop you off right here. So this is another reason why I wanted to show you this spot. And at the end of uh, our motorcycle trip, Peter got into a taxi, got into a taxi right here. So. I told him we just bill it to the project. He was just exhausted. The trains were so crowded. And just for your information, if you do come and you want to take the monorail and JR, there are signs telling you, please avoid the peak. That's 7.35 a.m. to 9.05 a.m. every weekday. They tell you, 
if you've got luggage and stuff, take a taxi. Please take a taxi. Don't try to cram everything onto the train. It, it's considered rude. I, I, I learned this because people told me not to do it. So just a, some inside information. Don't, if you've got a lot of luggage or a lot of people, don't try to jam on between 7.35 and 9.05. That's the morning rush hour. Just go to a cafe, get breakfast, wait it out. But don't try to get into there, okay? It's not It's not a good situation. Michael Sassano's here. <clears throat> Quick overview. This is where I am. Hamamatsu Road Station. It's uh it's been a hub of Tokyo for quite a quite a while since the monorail came in here. I guess around the 1970s as well when the monorail boom was going on. The monorail itself is probably due for an upgrade. But it's a pretty smooth ride. They've got an express that'll take you only two stops, straight to Hamamatsu, uh, straight straight to the airport. But you can see even Google Earth, it's under construction. It's a mess. That walkway I was on has a dead end right there. <laughs> it's good. This used to be connected to the World Trade Center building. Now it's not. This is the walkway I was telling you about. You can see the people funneling into that, that uh, hole. And that's about it. Inside the station. There is an entrance for the elevator, which is right there. There's a ramp if you've got heavy luggage, which I think is pretty convenient. But if, if you need to uh, take the elevator, there's an entrance for that right here. This is the one going toward up to the monorail station. Again, with all the construction there, you really have to take it slow. Make sure you leave early and, and uh, pay attention to the signs. This is the, there's the elevator. So you have to go around, it wraps around in order for you to catch that to go up. So if you have a, if you need to, if you have a wheelchair or you need a little bit more time to get there, just be aware that there, there are elevators to get up there. It just, it takes, it takes me about five to seven minutes longer than it did before the construction. So just keep that in mind. Here's the peak times again, one more time really quickly. I have one more graphic that I want to show you before uh, we end this live stream here. Uh, if, you, if I look back to the beginning, this is uh, where you get the tickets. It's very narrow in here, all right? It's very narrow. It, it, it'll list the price. It's only 500 yen to get to the station, uh, to Haneda Airport. You can get a ticket there or use your PASMO. Uh, I took a picture of the prices here. So there you go, there's, a, there's the line. It's not very long, but for the monorail, those first four stations, especially on the local train, they're filled with businessmen who have offices on there. So the morning rush hour and the, in the evening, it will get crowded at those stations. So keep that in mind. Just make sure, coming from Haneda, it's not a problem. You've got your luggage on board already. If you're leaving, you go to the airport in the evening, there might be some congestion at the station. So it, it, it may be worth considering taking a taxi, especially if there's more than one of you. It does pay sometimes in, in the convenience of it. Right? It's just there. There's a lot, loads of ways to get to Haneda station, Haneda airport. Uh, trains in the monorail. There's the Asakusa line, which I'll show you in a second here. It's also KQ. There's the express buses, which get around the city pretty good. Those are comfortable. You don't have to get up and, and change trains or it's not crowded on the bus. It's kind of relaxing. That's the train line getting into there. The two hubs are Shinagawa and Hamamatsucho. So those are quite important. Uh, if you're taking the monorail or if you're taking KQ, you want to know those stations there. Uh, Asakusa line runs, KQ starts from Shinagawa. And then this is some estimates on the time. And if you're looking at the KQ or the Asakusa subway line, which turns into the KQ that goes to Haneda Airport, this is the line right there. Let me see if I can enlarge it for you. I, I, I can't. You can see my lips are all dry too from Hokkaido. That's, that's where it'll take you from Asakusa or Asakusa. You can get to uh, Haneda Airport pretty quickly on the Limited Express. 
Not all the trains go to the airport, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> What's going on here? Help! Oh my god. Zoom out! Okay, that's better. Slightly awkward. Slightly awkward. Any questions about the monorail? I'm Reed Tux, right in here. First time catching you live. Everyone's doing good. Everyone's doing good. Glad that you guys are here. I'll upload this video uh, because I think that the uh, live stream might have some connection issues. But there you go. I saw Brandani was here. How you doing? This is going to be the final station of the Hamamatsucho monorail. I'm looking forward to that. It should be completed next year. Fingers crossed. 2025 is pretty much here already. And this is what it looks like right now. You ready for it? It's not very attractive. It's a work in progress. And with a little bit of planning, it won't be painful at all for you to get to Haneda Airport. It'll be smooth going. Just keep in mind, you cannot rush through this little narrow passageway. And if you're coming from JR, there is a, a connection now. You see that white bit right there, right onto the monorail. And that's probably the way to go. But then again, if you got luggage, I don't recommend the Yamanote line ever. Just take a cab. Get to the airport, get rid of your luggage. It's awful. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm going in March. How is it in spring? Nice, crowded. Come after the cherry blossoms. My favorite month is May. Best weather. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next live stream. Just a little bit of a nugget for you. Bye-bye.